Hello everyone, I'm Charlie from Conscious Creation and in this video I would like to share with you how you can learn to properly reprogram your subconscious mind towards your goals so you get that feeling as if you're swimming downstream with the current behind you instead of swimming upstream with the current against you. When it comes to reprogramming your subconscious mind, there's three aspects that we need to take into account to understand how to do this properly. First, we have our conscious mind. Then we have our subconscious mind. Then we have our higher self. And I'm going to explain each one. Your conscious mind is only 5%. So your ideas, the things that you want and the things that you don't want come from your conscious mind. I want to have money. I want to be in a relationship. I don't want to be poor. I don't want to be alone. This all comes from your conscious mind. Your subconscious mind is 95%. So most of how you think, feel and act come from your subconscious conscious mind so it's like the powerhouse and then we have our higher self simply put your higher self is your soul and it's connected to infinity so it's like your higher self is connected to your subconscious mind that is connected to infinity so your subconscious mind can connect to any possibility in other words Everything exists as a potential. And when you reprogram your subconscious mind, you are connecting your subconscious mind to that potential. Now, when you reprogram your subconscious mind, I'll give you a really good analogy of this. It's like a GPS uh, signal technology. You know, when you type in the location where you want to drive to and it will take you to that location perfectly. And it will tell you if you are off course and tell you to get back on track in case you take a wrong turning. So when you program your subconscious mind for what your conscious mind wants, I want that house, I want that money, I want that relationship, I want that lifestyle, I want that job. Is your subconscious mind through infinity, through the connection of your higher self, is going to help you find the best path, the easiest path for you to get to where you want. Now, if you program your subconscious mind for negativity, and the reason that we do this is when we have a weak energetic field. We all have an energetic field around us, but when it's contracted, this is when we program our subconscious mind for negativity. And if we do that, is the action towards our goals that are going to help us achieve what we want won't feel good. They won't feel good. Whereas when you program your subconscious mind towards your goals, towards what you want to achieve, that house, that relationship, that money, whatever it might be, the action then that's going to help you towards your goals feels good. It's like an internal navigational system. So as you are typing in what you want in your GPS through that of your subconscious mind, when you go off course, it's going to give you a warning. It's not going to make you feel good. Your subconscious mind is going to go, hey, look, this isn't the right path. We are going to make you feel bad or negative. And that, so therefore you can switch onto the easiest path towards your goals. So the question is, how do we go about and start to reprogram our subconscious mind? The good news is it's fairly simple and it's through the process of visualization. But I'm going to share with you how to do it properly so you can actually impress your subconscious mind with what your conscious mind actually wants to experience. Let's talk a bit about brain waves. We've got beta brain waves, and this is when we are interacting with our physical world. We are aware and we are alert to what is going on around us. Then we have alpha brain waves. This is when we're more relaxed. This is when we wake up in the morning before we go to bed at night, perhaps when we're taking a shower or a bath, when we're reading a book, when we feel like daydreaming. This is when we are in alpha brain waves. Then we have theta. This is when our brain waves start to slip into sleep mode. We are asleep. Then we have delta, which is deep sleep restoration 
and healing. Now we have something called an analytical mind. Now this is when you say something to yourself, you start to visualize, but if you have a strong analytical mind, it will start to question your desire. So let's say you want a certain amount of money each month, or you want that certain type of relationship, or you want that new house. And you try to impress that upon your subconscious mind through visualization, your analytical mind might come in and start to question and say, hmm, is that logical? Is that possible? I don't believe you. Now, the more educated we are, in other words, the more conditioned we have been, the stronger your analytical mind will be. So you will suggest something to someone. And if they are highly educated, the analytical mind will jump in and start to question it. Now, it can be useful in many ways, but when it comes to reprogramming our subconscious mind, it can get in the way. So what we need to do, we need to learn to lower our brain waves to that alpha and to those theta brain waves, because that's when our analytical mind shuts off. And that's when we can program our subconscious mind. So one of the best ways to do this is to actually imagine what you want while falling asleep at night. So as you're falling asleep, you're going from that beta to that alpha and that theta. And when you drop between alpha and theta, you'll still be conscious, but your analytical mind will shut off because it's out of beta. So as you fall asleep at night, you bring to your mind's eye that end goal, that end scene that implies that you are already in your desire. For example, if you want to live in a certain house, you would fall asleep at night with the visualization of you already being in that house and you would see it and you would feel it because feeling is very important because it's the emotions behind the feeling that start to impress your subconscious mind. Now you want to do this as many times as you can falling asleep at night until you start to feel like it's impressed upon your subconscious mind. And then when it is impressed upon your subconscious mind, the universe will start giving you signs and signals and then you learn to let go. A lot of people think they need willpower. We need willpower in order to create our reality. This is not entirely correct. Yes, it can work, but it's not the most effective because remember, your subconscious mind is connected to infinity and it's using that GPS to find you the easiest route to what you want. So all we need to do is we need to have the willpower to reprogram our subconscious mind because then it will take us on the easiest path for us to attain what we want. Now, what if you want to reprogram your subconscious mind for other things? That's okay, because remember, your subconscious mind is linked to infinity. But we don't want to create too much contradiction to what we want. For example, let's say you want to become a famous Hollywood actor. Is You would visualize yourself on the red carpet having achieved a very successful movie. Now, an ideal subconscious manifestation would be focusing on the other types of roles that you could get leading up to that lead role. But if you start to visualize being a famous footballer, those are completely two contradicting things and it's going to almost cancel each other out. So you want to get clear on what it is that you want to manifest. And of course, you can manifest loads of different things that you want in between, but you want to stick with the main goal because your subconscious mind can deal with lots of different things as well because it's connected to infinity. I'm also really excited that I'm going to be launching my Reality Shift program next month where I'm going to be taking a select group of people, around 20 people, through this program to help them shift their reality onto the timeline that they want, whether they want more money, more abundance, a better relationship, a completely new career change, whatever it might be. I'm going to be sharing with you in this program the exact ins and outs of how reality works and how you can shift into the version of yourself that gets to experience all of the things that your heart truly desires. So I'm really excited to be launching that next month. Apart from that, thank you for watching. Peace and take care.